Hello, sweet souls. Happy Thursday. It is December 7th. It's going to be your full length reading on TikTok and YouTube. If I see the 10 minutes filming on YouTube, watch the remaining of the reading. We're going to call on St. Michael. St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending a will through thought, word, or action toward myself, the viewer. We're going to call on the Holy Spirit, angel saints, spirit guides, and ancestors, and ask for a message for your greater good. Okay, let's see. What's in the current energy? Truth and only truth for the collective. What does the collective need to be aware of? Truth and only truth for the collective. Whoop, hold on a second. <clears throat> now, so I just heard, we got time for a nap, soulmate, and a place like home. You don't need to take any action other than to be yourself. Your soulmate is, is coming into your energy because you are calling this person in on an energetic level. Yeah, breathe just came out. Those of you that are manifesting your soulmate to come in, they want you just to relax. They want you to know you cannot miss this soulmate from coming into your life. They are being called into your life. The quickest way for you to call in your soulmate is for you to do the work on yourself, to raise your vibration, um, to, you know, release any baggage from the past and stay in that loving, high vibrational energy. That is the quickest way for you to call in your destined partner. And Zeus is whining. So, so some of you may have been really upset, feeling like, you know, you've been waiting a long time. They're just saying, be yourself. You will take a leap of faith when this person comes in. But when you stress about it, you push it further out because you lower your vibration. They said, you know, just release that control and trust, okay? All right. Let's clarify. Time for a nap. Yeah. They said, stay private. Go within, you know. The hermit is has a lot of wisdom because the hermit, you know, meditates, the hermit prays, the hermit stays private and trusts, okay? Because of the hermit being so wise, the hermit trusts, and that's what they're asking you to do. Just relax, you know, focus on healing you, focus on loving you, and don't worry. Worry delays it, and they want you to just be in the present moment loving your life. Regardless of, of how little you have, they want you to be in the present moment, just loving you. Please clarify. Please clarify soulmates. Yeah. This soulmate is going to come in and you will have this brand new beginning with the Page of Cups. This is a new start starting over with a true divine match. Okay. Please clarify no place like home. Yeah. Being your true authentic self is what gives you strength. That's what empowers you. That's what gives you, you know, your encouragement to move forward, knowing that you are authentically you and just focusing on building that, you know, being in a peaceful space, but loving who you are, doing your shadow work. Please clarify, breathe. Yeah, just relax. This is your justice. This is what is fair for you. Having this soulmate enter your life those scales of justice are being balanced and you need to be patient. Justice will be served and part of your justice is this divine partner that's coming in. You can't, no one can take this from you. You don't have to worry, okay? Please clarify, come to the edge. Yeah, they're saying a new path is being open to you because you were able to see very clearly who was in deceptive energy with the five of swords, you know, who didn't have good intentions. So you were moved away from a situation so that you could manifest, but the only way to manifest was through self-love, setting boundaries, protecting your energy, pouring into your own cup first, embracing the energy of peace which that's what your spirit guides wanted you to do after all, you know, after all, that was, that was the plan. 
Speaking your truth, operating in love energy calls in divine love. It calls in divine love. All right. So let's clarify this with the Kipper. So the spiritual realm is saying, it's just time for you to take it easy, to focus on your own healing, resting, getting more connected, and trusting, okay? They really want you to trust. Going within for answers, you know, really focusing on your spiritual well-being, your spiritual and physical health, but just really focused on that development. Please clarify time for a nap and hermit. Time for a nap and hermit. Oops. Oh my goodness. Hold on a second, guys. Yeah, you're... They want you to rest because judication. Your good karma. This is God placing judgment. And this is in your favor. For you, this is a new beginning. For some of you, this is a new home. Or sharing a home with this divine partner. Okay? Okay, let's see. With soulmate, we see you are destined to meet this partner. For some of you, you already have. But you're destined to meet this partner and you will have this new beginning. A new start. Yeah. Going to the chapel. I just heard courthouse and wealthy man. It could be a wealthy woman as well. Wealthy in spirit or in the 3D. But you will... Marry this person. This is your partner. This is your, your divine partner that's coming in. That's confirmation. Okay. With no place like home, they're saying all you need to do is be your true authentic self right now. This is going to empower you and give you strength and courage to keep pushing forward. Okay. Please clarify. No place like home. Yeah. Look at this. No place like home and strength. You'll call in not only a divine union with a marriage card, but sudden wealth, an abundant life. That's justice too. It's card number 11. Card number three is the Ascended Masters. This is destined and fated for you. You can't miss it. All right. With Bree, they're saying just relax. Stress and anxiety and worry is only going to delay a divine union because it lowers your vibration. They said this is part of your justice, so you can't miss out on it. They don't want you to worry. Breathe. Just clarify, breathe. Yeah, lovers. New love. You have new love coming in, but you had to learn who to trust and who not to trust. So with the death and the false person, you have figured out how to identify those that are in a lower vibration. So you you were able to tap in more, and this is what you needed to, you needed to learn this to be able to trust your own intuition and who to trust and who not to trust, who's karmic in nature and who's, you know, divine femme, divine masculine. So you have done this. So that's why you're calling in new love. With come to the edge, you, a new path is being open to you because you have learned how to, you know, see who is deceptive, who wants to just win at all costs, use and abuse, right? So you learned to decipher that, and then you stepped in the energy of the magician, which is a man or ma master manifester, but it started with you loving you with the Queen of Cups. Come to the edge. I knew this was going to come out. <laughs> yeah, okay. One more. Tell me about this. So you have someone here that really wanted you to be in poverty. Poverty in every way. They wanted to stop you on an energetic level. Or this can be online work. I do think that for many of you, this is your online work. They really wanted to put you in a space of poverty. This is a, a masculine or feminine from your past, but change is occurring because this person is a thief and they tried to prevent your divine union as well. Yeah, they, they tried to prevent your divine union with courtship and mature woman, but you're in the upright, an official person, and you're still calling in your high vibrational divine partner. 
So whoever this was, whatever their plots and plans were to interfere with your love, your love life, um, it didn't work. And also your money, it didn't work. Now they're in bad health and in despair because your pathway is clear. So that's awesome. Keep trusting, you know, keep going within, keep focusing on your own healing, staying in a high vibration and loving God, you know, praying. So we will go into part two to see if we can get any more information or any more advice from the spiritual realm. Um, if there's any actions you need to take. Okay, guys, I love you. I'll see you on part two. Bye-bye.